Unit 1, Week 2, Lesson 1. Today we're going to talk about why should I use visualization to help me understand what I read? And what mental pictures did I have today? Before we begin, please make sure that you have your whiteboard and your marker. What are sensory details? Sensory details are what you can see, hear, taste, smell, and touch. Good authors often include sensory details in their writing, so readers can visualize or create a mental image of what the author is writing about. Today, we are going to hear a story by Ralph Fletcher. He uses many different details in the story, Twilight Comes Twice. While you listen to the story, you are going to fill out this graphic organizer. You're going to jot down any sensory details that you notice in the text. Copy this graphic organizer on your whiteboard. Twice each day, a crack opens between night and day. Twice twilight slips through that crack. It stays only a short time, while night and day stand whispering secrets before they go their separate ways. <laughs> Dusk is the name for evening twilight. Dusk gives the signal for night to be born. Dusk deepens the colors of ordinary things. Even the cotton grass takes on a luster that makes you stop to look. on the sprinklers. It flushes out millions of mosquitoes and armies of bats to eat them. Fireflies appear, swimming through the air, writing bright messages in secret code. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jésus.
as you set your table for breakfast. Dawn sets its own table with light that ushers in a brand new day. Okay, let's review some of the sensory details from the story that you found. Okay, so you are going to type in the different sensory details that you found in the story. Then you're going to, you're going to write a summary of the story Twilight comes twice. We're going to start off the sentence with Twilight comes twice by Ralph Fletcher is a great story that has a lot of sensory details. You're going to write your summary and then you're going to be sharing them. <laughs> 